In part b, it is known that y is approximately equal to um, ax squared plus b. Now this could be modelled to y is equal to mx plus c. Um, we know that these two values would therefore be where the line cuts the y-axis. Uh, so we could say that b looks like to be equal to 200. Um, the a value uh, would relate to the gradient. Now we can be quite clever here and we can say well the difference in the y uh, is of the whole length of the line is 200. Well, it actually drops 200 so it's minus 200 and the distance in the x is 25. So the gradient m is the difference in the y minus 200 over difference in the x which is 25 which turns out to be minus 8. So therefore we could say that y is approximately equal to minus 8x squared plus 200.